Howdy. People. Where did Chad go? Why did Chad just disappear from the freaking screen? That's weird. How y'all doing tonight? Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. We're gonna be streaming that shit. Get in here if you're not in here. For some reason, the chat just disappeared from the, the side there. I wonder. <laughs> I don't know why. It's supposed to be on the side. It probably will just pop up later. Anyway, what's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood Birdman here. Very, very excited today. We've been waiting on this game since we watched it. Uh, what was it a PlayStation showcase years ago, two years ago, a year ago? I forget how long it was, but the day has finally come. Uh, we got the game a bit early. There's the chat. It just came up. There you go. We got the game a bit early because I have the deluxe edition. Um, I didn't want to miss out on anything. <laughs> so I sprung for the deluxe edition. Lo and behold, they said, hey, we're going to give you all the game early. I said, nigga. All right. Turns out my early was a little different than, than the consoles. Because <laughs> I, I am playing this game on PC. I have it on PC. And um, yeah, we'll get into it. Catch up on some chat here. Oh, thank you, Reverse Flash. I, I'm glad you like it. I've had this sweater for a while. It's a champion hoodie made by champion. It, it seemed only right. You know? <laughs> Logan, I am very good. How about you, man? I am I'm swell. I'm I I might be a little sleep deprived, but like that's because I woke up at six today. Six AM, which I never ever do. But we'll see how uh, we do through the rest of the stream. My day's been good. Day's been good. Um, went to Best Buy, bought a, or I'm calling it a server, but it's not really a server, okay? <laughs> um, just like some some external uh, HDDs, so that I can um, offload some stuff off of this this old PC that I have, because uh, it was running a little slow. And I figured like that'll speed it up. I don't know that for sure. We don't know if that's going to work, but yeah. Um, bought some comics, actually. This is the hall. This is the hall, okay? I had to get uh, the boys omnibus two. I already got one, but could not find two to save my life. It was insane. So that's what we got. Bet y'all don't know who that is. If you read the comment, you know who, who this is. But this character looks nothing like how he looks in the show. <laughs> Second pickup. I did not know Street Fighter made a comic. I had no idea. I don't know why I didn't know this, but look at look at Rainbow Mika being all sexy upside down. What you doing there? And why is Manat so large on the damn screen? Oh, the, the cover of the book, I should say. Uh, art style is kind of interesting. Yes. For those of you who, who guessed that correctly in the chat, art style is interesting to say the least. Of course, we got uh, my man Dan Hibiki getting hemmed up. So that's the second one I got. These are all bought today, by the way. And the last one, I don't even know what this is, but it looked supremely interesting and I can't wait to jump into it. It is clearly a um, science fiction uh, series. And I don't know if it's an anthology because I saw another one with the artist's and uh, writer's name on it and it was completely different. That's a little loud in my headphones there. 
So this, the art in this is outstanding. So I, I can't wait to like really delve into this. I don't even know what this is. Honestly, I've never heard of this or read this before. And this just looks incredible. I, I really can't wait to jump into this. Maybe that might be easier. So this looks great. Um, it was fairly cheap for it to be a hardcover. Only 30 bucks. So I, I'm very excited to, to jump into this one specifically. So that was my day. Best Buy comic book store. Um, not too much sleep. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, I'm very excited for this. Uh, I hope this is going to be good. Um, I haven't seen any reviews yet. I haven't heard too much chatter about the game as far as its, um, its quality. So I, I'm really honestly going in blind. I hope to high heaven that it is good. Please be good because you know, you guys saw my review for uh, God of War. I, I really dislike, or uh, not everybody saw it, but some of you did. Uh, I really disliked the gameplay loop in God of War, Ragnarok. Everything else is just phenomenal. It's great. It's a great fucking game. You know, like the story's great. Um, <clears throat> graphics are amazing. Just that gameplay loop fucking ugh, can be tedious. So I hope this is different. Um, in between making my house party video, which is coming out very soon, keep an eye out for that. Um, and I, I really hope you guys check that out, by the way, because it's it's a very important episode in the Everything Wrong with Cinemason series. Some, some of you have already guessed why, but please check out the house party video when it does drop. Uh, just keep checking back on my channel. Um, it's gonna be really good. Anyway, in between making that, that video, um, I've been I've been rerunning Sek Sekiro because I never beat Sekiro. I never got to the end. And holy fuck, I can't get past uh, Lady Butterfly. And I know some of you Sekiro um, uh, veterans are like, what? Because it's at the beginning of the game. But they patched her and made her more difficult to defeat. So fuck me, right? Connect X. Love the channel, Griffin Dork for life. You goddamn right, son. Where's Gryffindor on this? Gryffindor's right here. For some reason, it's pink on this, but it had to be pink, right? Because this, this is already burgundy. So, Gryffindor for life. I should just get like a Sharpie and just like cross out Slytherin. But anyway, um, let's stop talking about it and let's be about it. Let's jump into this thing. We got a very long stream today. I plan to stream to about midnight. It is currently 7.13 for me here in Los Angeles. So about five hour stream. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Honestly, if I if I can't get past 11, <laughs> then I won't do it. Let's turn off the music and uh, jump into this. Are y'all ready? Oh, we're preparing shaders. Okay, cool, cool, fine, fine. They should have done this uh, before everything started like uh, Dead Space did. <laughs> Maybe I'll just make the screen bigger so you guys don't have something stupid to look at while that happens. Uh, I guess I'll catch up on some chats. Uh, please go to Vada Kedavra Rampage. I'm pretty sure you can't do any of the unforgivable spells, but um, let it be known. I'm ready for the shits. Anybody come with the smoke? Expelling armors. I got the motherfucking Elder Wand in this piece. Y'all not ready for me. But I'm pretty sure you can't do any of the unforgivable curses. Like I'm, I'm almost certain about that. <laughs> you, somebody said you can. What the feces? Okay. 
cool uh do me a favor guys no spoilers please don't spoil don't spoil a game for people who haven't seen it obviously this game isn't even out yet for the majority of people so like let's you know what i mean you know what i mean said so, am i sure about that i will i will hit somebody with that thing i ain't, i've been practicing in this bitch keep it a stack me too uh this nuts <laughs> i hope i enjoy this game too man i've been looking forward to it for a couple of years dude this and uh spider-man which comes out this year so i've been waiting for these things i'm pretty sure it was it was two years when we first saw this right menu reader off press space bar to toggle somebody talking all right here we go my favorite parts of pc games playing around with the damn settings i will be playing this on um controller a playstation 5 controller because it's a third person game i almost called it a third person shooter but it's not maybe it is a shooter camera shake oh god uh yeah let's um turn that off toggle aim mode left-handed i mean i am left-handed but i never play uh game controllers left-handed always seemed weird cursor sensitivity where the graphic options these are all accessibility oh text size let's make that large for you guys Make it easier for you guys to see. High contrast text. That make it look better for you or no? All right. We'll look high contrast gameplay. Wait a minute. Let's leave that off. F to contain. Why is my keyboard not even on? Except I don't even like we're not even looking at that. Claim your rewards. I got a hippogriff for free. Okay. I already got, I already got a uh, drip. Hardware benchmark. Sure, let's, uh, let's benchmark it. So. These are all my settings, guys. You can see everything's on ultra. I, I am rocking a um, Founders Edition 3090. I wish I could get a 4090, but um, yeah. 3090 seems like good enough. Let's run a benchmark. See what we get. That Look how fast the benchmark is. Normally when they do a benchmark, they go through a whole screen like uh, Cyberpunk did. So they benchmarked my shit and they said everything should be on ultra. Okay, awesome. Until the image is barely visible. Look at that, it's, it's this. Okay. That seems to be good. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year. A fifth year? Wait a minute, they just skipped my whole uh, 11 year old. Like what's, what's going on? Turns begin on one September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. Okay. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously allowed, uh, agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Now, 
here's here's the thing guys i'm gonna be honest okay and toretto thank you for the two months all i'm saying they did black people right in this game on black history month too that's what i that's what i like to see okay i'm gonna play this game honest i'm gonna do a, a ow sorry i'm gonna do a real sorting ceremony if i get sorted into any house i'm going to stick with it except slytherin we got to restart this mode if it's slytherin okay <laughs> i can't be a slytherin um but i think the sorting hat takes your choices into account that's what the story told us so we shall see i'm gonna start recording from here hopefully my pc doesn't fucking flame out on me all right Hold on, I gotta create a setting. For some reason it didn't work. Oh God, it won't even let me do it. Okay, fission mailed, fuck it. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna do a, a true playthrough here. And if I get sorted into um, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff, then it is what it is. I'm hoping for Gryffindor though. Let's do it. Professor Professor Weasley? I just noticed that. She's the headmistress. The Weasleys are the headmasters. Okay, now they are pure bloods, so that does make sense. They they've been uh in the wizarding world for a long time. Let's do it. Oh hey, we're gonna spend a lot of time here, actually. This is mad slow. Wow. I'm gonna use my mouse. Those are presets, All right? First of all, skin color. <laughs> we're, we're all the way on this side, huh? All right. Um, I'm I'm kind of a reddish undertone, and this will be like the first game that I will play where I'm um, creating a male. Normally, I play with female characters. Not this time. Eh, they just go blue, like blue undertone. Um, I guess I'll just make myself a little bit lighter then. All right, they shave. None of these are going to look like me, guys, but like this looks pretty close. That too. I do have freckles. Believe it or not, I have freckles. What is that? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, this is kind of close to me. Close ish. I think I'm going to rock with that. Like, what was that? One, two, three, five. Okay. This is an Asian, an obvious Asian person here. Actually, th that doesn't look too bad. I have dimples, but like. Say you're a wizard bird, man. <laughs> I, I kind of like this one, this, this one and this one. Mm, let's stick with this one. Let's stick with that. <clears throat> glasses. Oh my God, they gave you the Harry Potter glasses. Uh, these are Dumbledore's glasses. McGonagall's maybe? I don't know. No glasses for me. Cut. Okay. I'm trying to rock like a black hairstyle. They don't have waves like your boy Bird, man, you know. They probably didn't invent that shit at this time. <laughs> they have cornrows. I used to rock cornrows when I was a kid. Um, um, um. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, 
it's a fade with like a little a little bit on the top let's rock the fade wish they would let let you uh do the part but again that's probably styles that haven't been invented yet actually i kind of like this this is what i look like when i need a haircut <laughs> oh they, they oh my god they did dreadlocks that's pretty slick all right i'm gonna rock the fade can't decide. yeah let's do this one i feel like this one's like more black oh god oh no oh yeah there we go all black complexion i do have freckles and oh he has a lot i have a mole like here yeah, that's as close as we're gonna get it i don't have any scars so we'll keep it like that <laughs> he needs a little bit of, he needs some sleep like i do okay i think that's cool we gotta change that eye color though where's brown when you need it there we go i think that looks realistic eyebrow color black eyebrow shape I'll see my eyebrows, right? <laughs> oh, that's that's actually perfect. Is that it? That's it. Finalize your character. All right, voice. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Okay, y'all know damn well my voice is, is mad deep. Mauricio, what's up? Uh, by the way, how are, how's everybody doing in the chat? Um, I'm like kind of focused on this, but uh, I hope you guys who are just joining are having a good day and I hope you uh, enjoy the stream. Welcome. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy it. I'm eager to get. That was quite some. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nah. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to. I am indeed a student, but I could very well. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Are these like female voices? A okay, so cobwebs you're not tied to it gender. Was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That's cool. All right, we can stick to normal. I must name my character. Bird man, dormitory witch or wizard. So yeah, hey, you could be uh, if you're if you're like a trans person, you can make them look like how maybe you might appear on the outside, but like, you know, you can do the voice options. You could be a witch or a wizard if that's your preference. That's cool. That works for me. Um, bird man. Are they gonna just call me bird? Like not call me my whole name? Cause then I'll just put bird man as my whole name. Fuck it, let's go with bird, why not? Um, start your journey, let's do it. What will I do if Simpson's making everything wrong with the, bur the bird man? Laugh. I am Mauricio, uh, get Westbrook the fuck up out of here. we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Eleazar. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. This is very Ages high quality. Since I've been to the castle, would be good to see the old pile of rocks. <laughs> I 
That's a death roll. We're being pulled by a Thestral. Oh, by the way, is the audio good, guys? Like the mix between my voice and the game? Because the game seems kind of loud. I'm excited, man. <laughs> Adjusted. How is that? Glad I caught you before you left. The voice acting's great. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. He doesn't know my name. He doesn't know how to say it. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Neither have we. Or have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Up a tab. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? If you see a frames counter at the top, it's PC. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this it was the last thing she sent me earlier Zah. it came to me via her owl but with no correspondence i can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe presumably from ranrock i cannot open it whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed it looks like goblin metal that symbol what's that glow I don't see a glow. Uh-oh. Nor do I. I'm special. <laughs> you have this chair, bro? Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We did. Just eat our dude. those damn horn tails Give me your hand. yeah the festivals appeared <laughs> we saw somebody die so hey look a squirrel are you all right you're hurt okay that's my health a bit take this it's wigan world potion that stuff will write you in a second. Wigan Weld. All right, they teach you how to play the game here. Down to heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? 
A typical dragon would never. Professor? I don't know about that. So, Pretty sure dragons are. Where are we? I'm not sure. Look around. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. We're hitting all the beats, huh? Port keys, thestrals. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. All right, we need to uh, adjust some settings for shit sure. Whoa, that is so slow. Uh, oh, acceleration. Let's turn that all the way off. We don't want that. So I wanted to adjust the sound. Um, the sound seems to have a, a very wide um, uh, dynamic range. And that's not what we want. The home cinema there. And home cinema typically has like a wide dynamic range. That's why it like the quiet parts are quiet and the loud parts are too loud. So it, that would force me to jump back and forth between um, the audio settings. So I think we should go for headphones, which should ha narrow the dynamic range. If you guys ever have problems with that on your like televisions or whatever, try narrowing, uh, narrowing your dynamic range. I, this happens a lot. Like I'm sitting at home watching TV and the loud parts are just way too loud. So I have to turn it down and then it gets to a quiet moment and I can barely hear the fucking dialogue. So it's dynamic range that's doing that. What else we got? So I'm, I'm at a like solid 60 FPS. Let me turn off these thing and see what it goes to. It stays at 60. Um, my monitor can do 144 and we're jumped to 144. Okay. So you can see my, my GPU right there. I don't have a 4090 guys. Oh, wow. I'm at 84. It jumped all the way down. Okay. If I start getting screen tearing, I'll, I'll, uh, turn, um, uh, V-Sync back on. Tony Sonic, thanks so much for the $5 super chat. I saw Megan about a week ago. It's pretty good for a PG-13 horror movie in January. Have you seen it, Birdman? Yes. I recommend people that watch that. Take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. Very good. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead <laughs> the to. The Repera. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <laughs> all right, now, now we're moving. Where do you suppose your wife got the port? We get about 88 frames. Not good bad. Question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. My, my character's voice is obviously like modulated. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, this isn't what his voice is supposed to sound like. And they're using like uh, technology to make his voice sound deeper, I think. I think the voice actor's voice is a little bit higher. It's very obvious to me as a voice actor. Very, very obvious. I literally, you know, record my own voice over a ton of different mics and I can tell when a voice has been edited and his heavily. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Sir, <laughs> Professor Fig, you following me? Evidence of lost magic. 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were <laughs> practicing. Offer. Focus on the center. I got it. Oh, I need my right hand. Oh, okay. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. We'll, we'll see how that works. Oh, what is this uncharted? Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. That's awesome, dude. And it looks great. <laughs> Get some fig. Mm. Fuck those birds for no specific reason. Ah, up there. We're close now. It's just ahead. That actually feels pretty good. Steady yourself. Reparo. We're in the wizarding world, y'all. That was great. <laughs> Almost there. Uh, I see it. Okay, so I, I see how the targeting works. You just kind of use the camera and it like highlights the thing. I don't know if you can see that. And then boom. This feels good. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Out of place. Okay. Um, this not Dumbledore. This is Merlin, right? It's got to be Merlin. Okay, this is cool. Investigate. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. How do I make that go away? Okay, get a hold of it again. Unga! Professor, this statue. Merlin? Merlin? Not Merlin. Oh, I can go around. Okay. This is it controls beautifully. Like it's very smooth. Stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. The helium? Right. It's doing nothing, Birdman. How odd. Big sensei. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? 
Wake the goblin. Godric's heart. We're in there. Where are we? I don't believe it. <laughs> it's magic. Hello? Gringotts? <clears throat> you call yourself Shujinko? Hey. <clears throat> By the way, that is Japanese for the protagonist. It can't be. Harry Potter? No. It's Harry uh, Negro. Just a moment. Bank. I knew we were in Gringotts. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. That boy's lying. We have the key, Ooh, though. Port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. <laughs> Stay close. That was yesterday, Black. That boy has unusually long arms. After you. I kind of don't trust them. You know, the great thing about that the wizarding world is that you could play any time period if you don't wish to lose them. And it would make sense. Oh wow, look at this. How many volts are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? <laughs> These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest <laughs> part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite this is great. <laughs> oh, that was that's. You only saw a little bit of it in the films. Vault number. Vault twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Would I go on that ride? Absolutely. They need to make this ride like a real ride. That would be awesome at Universal Professor, Studios. Hmm? The armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what hmm. was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. It was like the a pinkish glow. The oldest section of the bank. Red I did, Red Donkey Kong fan. A lot of mid. Besides the, the Zelda game. That looked awesome. I do like that they're releasing some of the old uh, Game Boy games on the Nintendo Switch. That's cool. Here we are. It'd be nice to play like Pokemon Gold. What is my Patronus? Um, on the website, it was a it was a Swan, but I haven't connected my accounts. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. That boy's arms. <laughs> you might as well be a little gorilla. Man, the amount of detail in this Vault game, 12. I, I, 
I can't get over it. <laughs> so they got DLC. I mean, yeah, but like I was hoping they would announce more new games. I saw that Metroid Prime got a remaster, which looks great. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. Did he trap us or... Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. Yeah, I did all of it, uh, somebody. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh my god. Are they really gonna do this to me? Can I do it with the controller? All right, the... Oh, okay, so you gotta use the, uh... How does that work? Steady your wand. Oh, I see. I see. I get it. I'm using a mouse and keyboard here. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Rebellion. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Uh, I'm playing way. on PC, but I'm using a controller and mouse and keyboard. I'm like using both. Uh, but yeah, this is on PC. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Step Why hasn't first. there been a Harry Potter game before no like this? If things go poorly, not out of Gringotts. No, we got the Lego games, but like, like this. It just lends itself to video game. Actually, I gotta stay there. Stay close to Professor Fink. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Yeah, so I am special. I can see things that they can't see. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Interesting. Revelio, right? Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. I'm gonna try it with the controller and see how it works. It's not bad. It works. Required one lighting charm, Lumos. Automatically been slotted. Okay. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. When you turn it off, it Nox. Does follow the light. Let's see if he says it. He doesn't. Immersion broken. I right, gotta line him up, I guess, and then smash that. Come on, 
Gonagall is screwed us. Protect Hogwarts, she says. Look out! My God. Oh, fuck. Attack me. <laughs> Stay close. No, this is good. <laughs> ah, snap. Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? We're following those. Follow the wind, like uh, Ghost happened? of Tsushima. Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. Uh oh. Got another game where the protagonist talks to themselves all the game. <laughs> Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Uh, we need to do Lumos. Lumos. There you go, buddy. That's one. Oh, I see. We need to do both at the same time. It seems I have no choice. I need to align these statues with their reflections. <laughs> I've been playing Sekiro. I'm good at this. <laughs> Hold Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. All right, we're gonna hold it. Bang, 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 bang. Didn't hold it long enough. I stupefied the wrong one. <laughs> oh, he got me. It's weird that I don't stupefy the right one. There we go. Oh man, this is great, dude. <laughs> it's actually pretty fucking sweet. Like that they say the magic and do the magic. SCP fandom, what's that? I'm drawing a blank. I'm underwater. Is it pensive? No. Uh, you can, Chloe. It'll be a uh, VOD. How did you? It'll be on the channel. What? Oh, SCP. Yeah, I know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. This floating above that 
Those uh, creepy pastas. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. <laughs> Where did he go, by the way? <laughs> Mother Hubbard just took off. Follow my lead. too well i wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough percival we are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets with knowledge others will do anything to obtain yes and if we are correct charles the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. This is very high quality. That's what you're seeing. I can feel the people cared. The glow that surrounded them. The developers. Yes, Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Performance or fidelity? I'm playing on a PC, so it's all performance, baby. To understanding why. We were all look rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. My equipment can always be found in the know. description. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. Goblins! I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> <laughs> Sir? Yeah, call him Twitter. They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? You want to fight, blood? I'm not giving you anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Uh-oh. It's... <laughs> it's the destroyer. <laughs>
My character got that black magic. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the <clears throat> rocket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. You heard that music? <laughs> Hopefully we don't get co copyright claimed for this. Very nice prologue. Very nice. Now, what house am I going to be in? Hmm? Let's see. I know that. You, oh, wait, is that Gryffindor? Yeah, that was. You can choose, or you can connect this to your account, and it'll like automatically place you in that. But we're doing like a real playthrough, guys. So we haven't missed the sorting ceremony. We shall see. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. If I ever visit now, the UK, I will. Silence there for sure. I need to as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and <clears> me. <throat> of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Do I get copyright claims on the old Birdman videos? No, not on the, the Harry Potter one. I'm very careful about the music I put in my videos. Very careful. It's the streams that fuck it up because I don't know they get copyright claim until after the stream is over. Black. Hey, a black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. He's the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. It's over. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> what are our thoughts of people boycotting the game? People are boycotting this game? <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Oh, I'm a Gryffindor talent. Sorry. Welcome. You're just in time. Have so a seat. The Weasley's ancestors right here. Here it is, the moment oh, you've been waiting yes. for. It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences <clears throat> and preconceptions. Certain expectations. He ain't lying. Oh, I can choose. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I can't wait to... I want to do classes. But I also can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder. Mm. 
I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? I wonder, is this the same voice actor as in the movies? It sounds frighteningly close. Uh, daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Daring. Let's go with daring. Although I am very loyal. I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. <clears throat> oh, but you're brave at heart. Oh, that's that's a Gryffindor choice. daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. That's Perhaps a Gryffindor. You belong in Gryffindor. <laughs> that boy know me. He didn't. Even, I didn't even get a chance to like choose. I thought it takes your choice into account. Oh, okay. So you can choose. It's right here. Choose a different house. I'm accepting that, boy. You know what time it is. Better be Gryffindor. <laughs> Change me to the red and gold. Look at not Hermione. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate I thought it was a personality quiz. Springs final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. This guy's kind of a dick. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I guarantee you he's a Slytherin. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Where's Professor Dumbledore? It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Originally thought this was going to be bully Hogwarts edition, but the class and the whole school aspect doesn't play a huge part. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Gryffindors, look, we're so nice. I guarantee you this Weasley is a Gryffindor. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a The fat lady. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Told you. Password? All right, take it easy, Blue Doc. Thanks for the uh, super chat, man. The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. Grata Domum. I swear if they make me try to remember that, I won't. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I should be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. Gryffindor common your room. First night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. <laughs> you say you never get used to the moving paintings. Oh, wait, they're not going to show me the common room. Fizzle sticks. Or was that a loading screen? Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Ah, oh, man. Look at this. Okay, so in the film, the beds were like way closer. They're like very spread out here. Oh, man. Look at this, yo. Now, which way is the common room? What the f is that Peeves? They didn't even show Peeves in the um in the oh, level one lock. Okay. Peeves in the movies. He was more a problem in the books. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Oh, they shooting on me. You heard that? Look at him starting Hogwarts late. He must have been held back. 
Is that that is also looking at me? Lumos. All right, I can do Lumos in uh here. Really? Is that fire? Let me let me hit it. Hit it with that. No. Okay. I'm amongst my peoples. I'm like kind of stuck here. Oh, my controller must have died. That girl thinks she can get away with anything. I don't know why though. It was fully charged. Okay. Oh, look at that. The cards, they're shuffling themselves. I'm an asshole. She gets bolder every year. You'll like it. Trust me. Gareth Weasley. The Weasleys. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? No shit. I am. She's my aunt. <laughs> Man, then you can do whatever you want. Oh, so I get to choose. That must be nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still... She means well, and she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Uh, the voice is uh, a little distracting because it's it's so robotic. So this is to leave the conversation. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no, I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference fundamentally between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Nice meeting you, Gareth. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. See, the Griffin there is so nice. I bet you Hufflepuff is nice too. That thing moved. I, I'm pretty sure I saw that. Y'all might want to rewind it real fast and check that out. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Need another one of this dude's apples. Asshole work. I don't want to get, in to get, the All right. get down. Stupid. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Fine. Still not working. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I the should dumb be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh. Oh, hello there. Why Welcome has everybody got freckles? I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Uh, I've studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I got a question. I got a question. Crested of Bloom and... Gareth Weasley are Gryffindors in my playthrough. What if I got a different house? It, like, am I getting the same characters, but like, they're just, like, I have no, I, I can't believe that a Weasley would be in Slytherin, for example. You know what I mean? This character seems like she belongs in Ravenclaw. Your casting needs work. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, you mean different people. Sure we be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. 
Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, <laughs> I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, these Slytherin niggas always be crying. <laughs> but their housemates cause all the dying. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Okay, I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Oh, yeah? No, it looks great, uh, Micah. Seriously, I'm kind of impressed with this very impressive <laughs> why is everyone so highly strung it's perfectly safe <laughs> she's definitely a gryffindor i can well, feel hello. that don't mind me i find it helpful to change my point a type of view personality now. put things in perspective once i made it to the top of gryffindor tower from the outside without a broom goodness <laughs> i'm nelly by the way nelly ogspire I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Um, there's nothing I, I'm about to, you know, show off in front of Nelly real fast. It is true, but I, uh, we handled it very well. I'll say, <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. <laughs> I mean, well, I wrote it black to gray, so I, I should remember at least a little bit. <laughs> what exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I am Talon. This is uh, the Gryffindor common room. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside <laughs> the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. He said, I'm trying to get all the Gryffindor bitches. <laughs> I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Yeah, I just like her voice. I like her person. She's like an A-type personality. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Like... It's it's Mr. distracting. Andor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Everybody else's um, voice actor is doing a phenomenal job, but I'm the robot, so I sound pretty bad. I'm just gonna look around Gryffindor's common room. This looks amazing. For those of you who chose different houses, or will choose different houses, um, this is what ours looks like. That is moving. He's laughing at me. <laughs> Fifth year. Is this all there is to it? Okay. And then upstairs was our um the dormitory. Everyone knows you can't. Are you a head boy? What's these? Okay. morning i trust you're ready for your first day at hogwarts i've been dreaming of her suit is insane time. can't believe i'm here well you are here make the most of it you only have one first day at hogwarts now in light of your unique situation joining us as a fifth year you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind especially as you'll be expected to complete your owls at the end of the year owls 
Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of I love potatoes you have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of the Magical ghost. Education at the Ministry, Is that we Nick? devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Wow. Here you are. Oh shit, it's the port key from Fantastic Beast 3. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Hmm, Hermione had one of these, I it bet. Would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Well, yeah, the Weasleys are pure blood, so it's going to be a lot of them. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions. Like they're one of the old wizarding we'll families. And we shall put it to the test. This way. Oh, she got that rumple still skin. Yes, Why sir. Opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about. That's got to be peeves. Cool. It is peeves. <laughs> I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. No, sir, this is extremely high quality. The game not only looks great, but like ah, just the little details. The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Rebellion. Brain elixir. He said he once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo in his chest. Don't we know this story? Only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay. Wizarding level. One percent. Combat quest exploration. This is going to be a big game. A lot of stuff. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. I'll I'll probably be playing this game um off stream. So like I'll do the critical path stuff on stream and if if possible I'll do the non-critical stuff off stream so that we'll have sort of a um like a more well-rounded character. It's, pro it's probably something I should have done uh, while playing um, God of War. So I'll, if if that's possible, I'll do that. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities. She walked through that. I can walk through that. <laughs> Awful puffs are invisible. That one was intangible. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Oh, uh, I got this this chest to attend. Oh, is that a galleon? 49 galleons? Your boy is rich. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your Quick travel guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. This I'm, I'm telling you, the, the Harry Potter world is it's, it's a game. It's obviously a game. Flu powder for fast travel. Like, come on, man. That's sick. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. 
and it includes the house common rooms and the great hall we need to go here this is your location south wing didn't she tell me to find a hall i can't go to anywhere else fine blue flames available in that region green discovered gray undiscovered okay the annex of the library central hall blue flames so that's where we're gonna go uh a loading screen Is that a whale? Well, here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. <laughs> I wouldn't say I hate John Moran. I'm just I'm telling you, he's a pretender. Anywhere in the castle, quickly from Central Hall. All wow, look at that. Here, it's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I suspect most of the to learn what she can be in a dungeon. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Hey, Hogsmeade. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. The house points containers. I gotta find it. Class. I'll look around. Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. When you look at the the wizarding world like the like the in universe wizarding world they seem to be better off than humans than like regular like muggles right like those people are struggling with their technology of the day but like the wizards they get along just fine you know the harry potter movies are actually set in the 90s a lot of people don't know that and um it, this looks like how the wizarding world looked in the 90s but this this game is supposedly set 150 years 100 something years uh, before uh the, the the movies and the books you mentioned hogsmeade professor hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs you should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in hogsmeade you will also i imagine enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course yeah, I would say you're Hufflepuff uh, delayed. Hufflepuffs tend to be very loyal, and I, I get that quality from you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. No, that's a that's a good point, Micah. I I wonder, like, if we get a a, a story set in like current day, like 2023, will there be phones allowed at Hogwarts? <laughs> because phone is like a like a wand now um uh, more to the story afraid there isn't so we, we shouldn't tell her i'm sorry professor but i'm afraid that's all there is to it we lied hmm. almost precisely what professor fig said speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning oh yes you seem to have the phones wouldn't work with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. 
They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely <laughs> on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. But like, they would have to obviously... Uh, Good luck today. And remember to use your Adapt. field guide. It will be invaluable to you. To phones. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. And like the internet, yes, right? Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today. And I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like Hogwarts would obviously adapt to technology of the day. They would have to. It, that only makes sense. It's good to see you, Professor. Why would they and not allow the internet? I was hoping our paths would cross today. Before That's why the Harry Potter stories are set in the 90s. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I lied like you told me to, bro. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details Sam to Sam yourself presents. for now. We don't know where <laughs> this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more <laughs> flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Exactly. Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Track available quests from the map. I'm I'm pressing it. Okay, so that symbol is the main quest. So in stream, I will be doing main quest stuff. I might do some side mission -y type stuff, maybe. Um, generally speaking, though, I'll try to say that for off stream so that I can just like build up the character um, so that when you guys see me, I'm not like left behind by not doing side quests spell and or level requirements interesting this is such a game i love it all right what's this one Def defense against the dark arts hey we should do that first huh yeah let's let's do defense against the dark arts the map is enchanted lumos just turns on the flashlight <laughs> this will be incredibly helpful thank you now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman. Oh, we're going to get a friend. wand. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious lock. Is everybody's wand now, different? Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Defense against the Dark Arts class. I want that. What is that? <laughs> oh, my word. Wait, it got foggy. You better run, Dobby. You smeagol looking. Wait, what's that on the What is this? Revelio. Revelio. Reventure, are we? I don't even know what that is. All right, cool. Oh, that's a, a fast travel. Understood. So yeah, no, the character moves very s smoothly and fluidly. I'm getting 120 something frames in this very intricate cat. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at this. This game is awesome sauce. Look at the stained glass. 
Doesn't the stained glass move in Harry Potter too? I'm pretty sure it does. I could have sworn it did. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh shit. A duel. Look at that. Slytherin's playing dirty. To blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. She said Today, 1878. A spell that has saved me from death. At the Isn't that like yesterday? More times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle now let's practice what we've just learned starting with something small i wonder what happens to her levioso your boy got that knowledge that's what i'm saying if the, if the game is in the 1800s levioso. she's saying some shit that happened like a week ago Swish and flick. Now, let's try something a little larger. I'm drawing a blank too. What is an unspeakable? Somebody who's like better at the lore than I am. And I'm pretty good at the lore, but I don't know what an unspeakable is. Let us begin with a basic cast. <laughs> oh God. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise good. Now, the basic cast. Bing, bing, bing. Done. That's cool. <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Oh, a Slytherin. I'm about now, to fuck you up. I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. What you got, cuz? Levioso. <laughs> this should be easy. Protego. Protego. Ha ha ha. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Let me answer. This can't be your first. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do enjoy life. I kicked them off the table. Smoke them. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today Hackett. is any Hackett. indication, we can expect great things from Hackett. you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. <laughs> Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Department Again, of Mysteries, okay. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. So, oh, if they work in the Department of Mysteries, they'd be like... Spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Hold secrets, right? I'd hate to face Professor Hackett in a duel. <laughs> yeah, you better. You, you, you Slytherin. <laughs> 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 
Boar? Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Everybody got practice. freckles. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Um, <laughs> that's a lie. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair kind of a enough. dickish response. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Of course, Slytherins want to break the law. Sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. <laughs> Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You exactly, Adrian. Be clever enough Sounds like a Gryffindor. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Well, Look you know, Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Side quest. Um, Until next time. That to me was a challenge. So I got I to gotta be Gryffindor with it. Step up to that challenge. Always thought Leviosa was for first. All right, we need to go upstairs. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. How do I like light the fire? Oh, there's a jump button. Didn't even realize. There's a roll. Light the fire. All right, fine. I think you just stand by it and you're able to get to it. Need to go upstairs. This is great, man. <laughs> the freaking Hogwarts castle. I need to go up though. They move. They definitely move. Okay, cool. Cool. I know I wasn't tripping. I thought it might have been a glitch. Oh shit. <laughs> the level of detail in this. Excelente. Hey. I hope that travel broadens the mind. Hey, this is for the 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 wizards. The witches have a different restroom. Can I flush it? What the fuck? Revelio. Okay. But I can't even. All right. Let me listen. Can't hit it with anything. All right. Good thing there's no Myrtle in here. When did Myrtle die? She got killed by the Basilisk. I wonder if we would see her in this game. If uh, I can't remember when she died, though. You know what? Let's just open the map. See if we can't fast travel to that. To that money. 1950s. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is too early. Can I fast travel? Uh, never mind. Just give me a path. There we go. What are you up to now? Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want to quest. <laughs> Get wand, profit. Yeah, it, it definitely happened way later, way later. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. 
So oh. you are the new student. She's African. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Technically, my character is too, you know. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year <laughs> in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. <laughs> hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Accio. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. It's Accio. Got... Oh my god, don't hit me with the Accio Niffler. Oh. Oh, it is Accio. Sweet. <laughs> I, I'm having a uh, thousand yard stare flashbacks from Vietnam. Accio. The summoning charm. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, she's a beast, huh? Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <laughs> He's a great character. Not sure I like loading screens in 2023, but here we are. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the No, in the second one he said Accio agree. Niffler. <laughs> That's what he said. So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? I got a feeling these professors are going to be as iconic as the ones in the, the books. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres, tap the Alicia Short Charm at the last. Splendid! Now, think of this like gobstones. Very good. Akio. Excellent control there. We want to pull it as very good. Close Points as possible. to Gryffindor. Well, hey. there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. How many Miss points to Gryffindor? Alive, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. <laughs> You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, it's a game. Here we go. She did 50, of course she did. There we go. Oh wow, that's gonna fall off. They lied. Splendid! What? 30. I gotta block hers. 
They won't let me shoot. <laughs> All right, she did 30. I'm getting a 50. That is how it's done. I got to tie this up. Hey, hey, hey. Quite impressive. Yeah, that's right. Look at me. My balls are in her way. All right, I can only tie it now. Damn. Yeah. Got it. A perfect score. Remarkable. Oh, wait a minute. She only got 30? Wait, hold on. She has two balls on the. Oh, all of mine were 50s. I thought one of them was a 30. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> Agreed, Shinji. It's seriously. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> okay. Awesome. It's it's very intricate. Maybe enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. All right. This round settles it all. Let us see this. I won the first round though. I'm definitely gonna fuck this up. I I know I'm gonna fuck this up. Don't you fall off. Yes. That's it. I just noticed Akio has a meter to it. She's going to have up. Yes. Bruh. That's bull spit. I should have definitely stopped her momentum. There you go. This music is great too. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Come on, block her, block her. Uh, off the state. That's bullshit. She curved it like wanted. All right, I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do. They lied. Brilliant. <laughs> My ball fell off though. I can't Very even complain. Good, both of you. Well done. <laughs> Hopefully there are no achievements for uh, winning that first try. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. <laughs> that shouldn't have counted though, Bolster guys. <laughs> you took the loss in stride. Did I won the first one. Easy on you. We're took one and one. Weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Road Rage, thank you for the $10 super chat. Um, <clears throat> I have to run, I just want to say thank you for the videos. They have helped me through some seriously hard times battling PTSD. You are appreciated more than you know. Hey man, thank you, thank you, seriously. Um, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to uh, help you out and have that effect. Um, I hope that uh, one day uh, you're no longer battling those issues, though. Um, but seriously, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. Thank you, Yusuf. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an <laughs> offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. I fucking love this accent. I don't know about you, man, but when Africans start talking, I'd, I'd be like. <laughs> is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Oh, really? But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It ain't better than Ilvermorny, though. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. 
It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Mm. This may seem an odd question. I was going to say it's a dumb question. The same there as it is here. Duh. Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. <gasps> Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? Surely the magic is weaker. What a dickish response. No, that's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. See? Uh, if Jeremy played this, he'd be like, I can use magic without wands. Oh my God. Even though I saw it being done in all the movies prior, I'm still going to complain about it. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you. What up, Darren? Asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor <clears throat> Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. The wizarding world grows. Of course. We got a new school, y'all. Thank you for the $4 uh, sticker. Word, if you would. Well, you, you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Professor Black also rolled his R, Dilu. I don't know if you noticed. He sounds English to me, but it's possible that he's Scottish. Um, okay, we need to um, get on a path here. I, I don't have any quests. I, I guess we, uh, wait, gear. Wait a minute. I can change. With these. That ain't drip. That's whack drip. Handwear. <laughs> Gloves? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we uh looking real death eaterish. So OJ Simpson. Uh <clears throat> face wear. I don't need the specs. I notice I have health, defense, and offense. So RPG. traditional school robe oh i can take it off so this is what i'm wearing under my robes outfit bruh <laughs> i don't know what i expected okay that's the there are two that are undiscovered and this is that side quest might as well do it <clears throat> i have nothing else on the agenda this way hello there you're the new student aren't you what's up samantha she was eyeballing hello. me in class you wanted to speak to me Samantha, <coughs> I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. Feel like an anime you protagonist. Seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Your gloves fit though. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, 
Better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Oh, really, Darren? Okay. I mean, I assumed I'm going to have to fend off some Dementors. Come after my ass. Oh, nigga, you cast Avada Kedavra? Oh, shit. Let's suck his soul out. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I got to go downstairs. Yeah, there it is. I, I want to Imperio a girl to make her twerk. That'd be funny as hell. <laughs> twerk something. Revelio. Mother flark, you peeves. Here I've come from the toilet <clears throat> Haunted toilets. <clears throat> Unless in dire straits, it's probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it's allegedly one of peeves' favorite pranking spots. You're taking a shit and then uh, peeves comes out and, and, you know, makes you uh, uh, clear your bowels. So. I could swim, did you a mole? If you're constipated, go in there. said they don't know what that is i'm gonna invent it glad you could make it lucan's just over there but here's the thing though um a lot of you guys don't know this but africans have been twerking for forever it's 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 a part of uh the culture um revelio for this one <laughs> i don't even know how i knew how to do that i just did it it's innate skills son Let's break them rules. This little, he's a first year. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels across ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so. <laughs> only seventh year is radioactive. Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I'm a kid, gosh darn it. I did take him down a peg. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. How do I know he's a freshman? To liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? <laughs> he's clearly a baby. Of course, dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. Okay. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Hey Noah, what's up? How you doing? We'll make you regret signing up. Uh oh, I get to flark a Ravenclaw. Oh, he got me. Killing Lawrence. Oh, you saw that? Your boy got skills. Is there a melee? That'd be funny. Poke their eyes out with the, the wand. Like. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. <laughs> Count me in. I shall. That was Abby from The Last of Us, too. I these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Okay. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. No, the, the, the combat's great. Very fluid. Um, Sort of... I'm not going to say exactly intuitive, but it's, it's on the intuitive side. Um... 
Let's fast nice travel. To see you, my young friend. It's definitely better than Sekiro. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Sekiro's pissing me off, so I, I'm, I'm gonna shit on it any, any chance I get. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Go back to the map. I can fast travel there, no? Uh, no. Hey, hey, this is the closest one. He said cross wands. Sounds like something happened with the homie that never gets brought up again. Hey, yo. Hey. Yo. What in the fuck was that? <laughs> A cat. Fuck you. No, I'm sorry. Come here, McGonagall. What are you doing? So you, you just pet the, the cat? Okay. How is Sekiro pissing me off? Room, I'm getting hemmed up by I Lady Butterfly. Same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. I think his name is Deke. That's kind of close to... Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Camera was shaking a little bit. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much <laughs> Skill from issue. Professor Speckett and Ronan. <laughs> Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more Very to from your travels here fanboy. than what you've told me. Isn't there? A good deal more to your travels what you told me. Has, hasn't Professor Fig said anything? Yeah, let's go with that. Have you and Professor Fake not I don't want to lie too training. further. He continues too to much be further. reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. More work? Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, I'm a light Ronan wizard. Will meet you outside momentarily I mean, I'm a dark wizard, first. but. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Um, if I was an animagus, uh, which animal would I be? Probably like a falcon, like some type of bird. Like it'd be great to fly, you know? Imagine just being able to fly anywhere you want. Fuck airplanes, you know? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. <laughs> I've never I told you of guys. spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. I told you guys before, like, just ironically, my favorite animals are, uh, like the large cats and, uh, birds. So like, I like lions and cheetahs. Um, but I, I love birds. Peregrine Falcon is my favorite bird. So it's, it's ironic that my, my nickname is Birdman. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Let's go. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps <laughs> Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. How about Natty? Sebastian. Sebastian's a, he's a, he's a, a Slytherin. Um, I'm going with Natsai. 
I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Undesirables? A rather unsavory Trump supporters? Local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. You got it, Jobin. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Types of quests. Give me a Hogwarts professor when completed. Reward you with new spells. First time it'll be Reparo. Hey. Okie dokie, artichoke. Let's get that quest. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. Okay. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. Hey, Dominic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. You say you're impressed with how much better this game sticks to the canon. Well, I, I feel like the, the developers were just fans of the material. And um, this is great, honestly. Like, they're doing a fantastic job so far. We're only two hours in. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Um, about a hundred years or so, um, Darren, before the, the books. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. But like, like I was saying earlier, it's, it doesn't feel like a hundred years prior to 1990, you this know, is the right area because I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, I got to find the flying page. So Revelio. um, yeah, so like they don't use technology, right? So the magic just makes it feel um, contemporary. <laughs> Ronnie Jones, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Hey, Birdman, spending Valentine's Day early with my lady. Can you say, hey, uh, Libriana? Libriana, is that how you pronounce it? Hey, Libriana. Also not a Potter fan, but I always support the stream. Hey, my dog. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Rebellion. Flying pages. Oh, wait, we can use Accio, right? Do we see flying pages? Near the broken, broken statue. It's quiet here all of a sudden. Oh, there it is. Accio. Yeah, boy. Hopefully, I pronounced her name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Page must be around here somewhere. <laughs> it's too quiet. Yeah, it got quiet so I can hear like the flapping of the. Brilliant. Tight. I trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your 360 no scope Accio. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. All right. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Not too difficult. Yoink. Reparo. Oculus Reparo. I think we'll see Dumbledore in a sequel. 
Ooh, as a student, wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> Mending charm can be used to mend the broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay, so fix that bridge. I'm just like watching them uh, give spoilers to the game. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, Prepare. have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lacked out. <laughs> uh, so uh, Kanye West erected this. Do I think Kyrie's going to stay with the maps? I do not. I th he said he wanted to come to the Lakers, so I'm assuming um, he's going to uh, come to us next year. We just picked up D'Angelo Russell, though, so it'll be interesting to see um, what we're able to do with the money. Rebellion. What am I looking at? All right, F it. Oh, wait, what's this? I see. So what's the trade with Russell Westbrook? So basically it was a three team trade. Um, we sent Westbrook to the Jazz. The Jazz sent Mike Conley to the Timberwolves and the Timberwolves sent us D'Angelo Russell and some other players. Um, that I can't think of at the moment. All right, back this way. Said this puzzle made no sense, so you Googled it. <laughs> yep, that's exactly why I'm not even gonna bother with it. Speed run strats. Peeves. Rebellion. I know you're in there. Hey, look, it's Loki. Yeah, uh, Beasley and Vanderbilt. I like Beasley. I'm not sure about Vanderbilt, though. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again and to see the village. I like this character. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. All right, we're going to Hogsmeade. No, I, I know. I, I'm sure, but I, I'm pretty sure you got to like look for those symbols. I don't want to waste time. You know, I want to like do main um story stuff while on stream i'll probably do that in my own time yeah he's okay i, I mean what is he average like eight points a game company you really yes i had planned to extend an invitation to you myself i thought you might enjoy a better be in the village <laughs> the timing of professor weasley's owl was perfect is she oh look there you go Hogwarts. Uh, does she I have? Tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Oh my God! Grave mistake to take it as an elective class. Believe me. Look at that Quidditch Quidditch pitch. Though I suppose you would not really. Call I was gonna ask if, if she's a fifth year too. Your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Look at this, man! Wow. We dropped down frames. I'm at like 72, which is not bad. It is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. Chiefs or Eagles? Grow up around snow. Uh, I hope a meteor wins. Fuck both those teams. I'd prefer if, like, the lesser of two evils oh, would be the Chiefs for me. Here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. 
But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. We can kill flies and, and make a potion out of it. <laughs> I guess you could say those uh, plants are horny. Oh, look at this boy's drip. He looks like a Quidditch player. But they canceled that. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. Hey. I if something startled them. I heard rumors that Hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Are we going to go through the whole song and dance of bowing to them? That'd be cool. Absolutely. Man, look at this world. This is insane. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. I'm going ah, in there, I bet. There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Look at that bird. Man, this is so sick, dude. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I can see the Thestral. I, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. Look at that. Relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. <laughs> Stop hating on the eagles. The eagles hate, uh, hate themselves. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm Wait. getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. I'm here too. I'm getting out of the castle and it helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. That's incredibly it's useful. You too. I'm trying not to talk through uh, her dialogue. Come here, cat. Patrick Reddy is surprisingly fond of it goes into a cutscene to pet the cat. That's funny. You said Russia retire. Uh, I hear it's kind of sad. It feels like he'll never win a championship. But hey, man, he doesn't seem to care. You Mr. know, Moon. his net worth is two hundred million dollars. So looks a bit worse for wear. I mean, I'd take two hundred million dollars. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met just saying? Yeah. Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Is he Korean? Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, mm, terrifying. <laughs> Koreans are always drunk. That's racist. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I uh, will say that I have never think? seen him. <laughs> really there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Hogsmeade is fairly close to the castle. They wouldn't let Harry come to this because his parents wouldn't fucking sign the... Man! It's right up the street. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. You know what I mean, his, his guardians. The, the Dursleys. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. 
You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. Navigate using your field guide. Man, I'm, why doesn't this work? I gotta press it like three or four times. All right, I can change my hair there, looks like. My clothes, hey, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. Brood and pack. Beast products. Oh, do we get to choose our animal? Okay. Uh, Pippin's potions. Ollivanders. Since 382 BC, they've been making wands. Damn, son. How's the game? Fantastic, dude. Fantastic. I'm in love with it already. Uh, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I, like you guys know that about me. <laughs> like I'm wearing a fucking Hogwarts hoodie. I have a few um, Harry Potter hoodies, but um, no, this game is great. Um, the lore is awesome. Love it. Uh, I like the Lakers trade. I don't even know how I feel about it, to be completely honest. I have to like take some time and process it. I like D'Lo coming back to the Lakers, but I don't know yet. I don't know. Thank you, Estupido. Tomes and, tomes and scrolls. And spin witch's sporting needs. We don't even, we don't, well, they got brooms. Okay, I was gonna say, we don't need brooms because they cancel Quidditch, but let's do clothes first. Oh, I got hiccups. <laughs> Zonkos. <laughs> The uh, twins would love it. Oh man, the amount of love that went into this game is just palpable. I truly appreciate it as a as a fan of this franchise. It's just just snake in somebody's tea, bro. <laughs> Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glad Rags, Glad Rags, serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. So nothing right now, currently. Understood. What up, Rev? What you got? Hey, uh, hello? Can I talk to him? I just stole this dude's galleons. Oh my god. They would have mannequins that move. So you, you like the trip? <laughs> hey, um, sir. I I can't talk to him. Is this glitched? I hope not. What even is this? Rebellion. Rustic sleeping cap. Um, I can't talk to. Oh, wait. I see. The things that are on the map are what I need to do. Fine. Now, there is one thing I don't like so far. Um, the pause system and the map open a little too um, slowly for my liking. See that? Like, going back and forth between the map and the overworld. I feel like there's a little too much lag there. Oh, bro, what, what, what you saying, bro? That shit down. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. What up, Pip? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, 
I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade. No, I'm, I'm talking about the really? the lag. Well, Parry Pippin at your service, and this is J Pippin's potions, potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. We've got a Scott, you guys. Here today. Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As a should you buy the game? In, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? I think you sh I, I think it's a buy so far but let me i'm only what two hours into the game two hours some change um so it's hard to say like if it's a buy but so far it's been great uh cost hey zero doll hairs Feel you gotta love to the take a look at the rest register of sound Come back another time if you're in a rush today. Oh, these are, these are recipes so that you can. Okay. I don't have enough bread for this just yet, bruv. So if you're a fan of the series 100%. Yeah, no, this is like a love letter to the fans, you know? For those of us who've, who've wanted to be in a Harry Potter game, like as ourselves. Like it's, it, it feels like a real RPG, you know? So this is what I'm talking about. Hey Luke, thanks for the 14 months. Two words, Flark Sivarin. You exactly right, son. So look, I'll press it. Look how long it takes to open and bring up the map. See that? That's what I'm talking about. I feel like it should be more instant or quicker than that. Anyway, uh, the next one was this one. This is the closest, I think. No, no, no. Oh my god. I can just walk over it. I wasn't trying to do that. Which way did it go? You fucker. Accio ain't working. There we go. Well, hello there. A chicken. Oh, <laughs> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. Dittany. <laughs> I think that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? No, I definitely agree, Hepu. You're after something fresh. Um, for me, it's like an original story set in this world. Fantastic. You know, uh, JK you hasn't written any um, plenty of ingredients to pique your interest. Down, books. Major. So this is like the next best thing. 
you know she did the cursed child but that was a play if i'm not mistaken all right we need to get a tomes and scrolls and then olivanders after that by the way that's not me doing that that little it's just automatically doing that every time i open the map oh Off on another adventure, are we? Just want to make sure I got that fast travel spot. Yeah, Ollivanders was in Diagon Alley. Maybe, maybe the store moved in the future. An inquiring mind. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Cursed child doesn't exist. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. He of sounds Caribbean. Not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look uh, at what So that, have, that's the lore, Shinji. The, um, the Ollivander that we know opened up a store in Diagon Alley. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. You said, why can't there be more stories? Yeah, you know, that's a good point. That's a good point. The ministry's good work. There was something in there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Bugging. All right. Now we're going to Ollivanders. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Behind me. Look at look at Ollivanders. Wait a minute, Revelio. Revelio. Give me that. Consider the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Here we go. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. You're bold. Just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. The hubris. Truly. Now, come with me. The Let's avarice. The perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Oh, I gotta get the long one because I'm black. Four, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. No. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. The wand did not choose me. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? 
um, we'll find you something not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps, yes. Thirteen and a half. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. How am I going to fit that in my robes? Let's give this one a try. Kind of ugly, oh, 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 bruh. Oh, goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. <laughs> He's only picking the green boxes. You might be the one. <laughs> Here, take it. It hurt me and got upset. <laughs> Spiral, ash brown, dragon heart string, brittle, ten and a quarter inches. Oh, I can, I can, uh, customize it. There we go. Curious indeed. Classic gray. Classic black. Classic gray brown. Notched. How intriguing. Interesting. I kind of like this one. It's crooked. <laughs> Curious indeed. This one looks like a dark wizard's. Um, I, I kind of like this one. It would be dope if this was like black, though. In the How buff. Intriguing. Hmm. I guess we'll go with this one. Curious indeed. Dark brown, wood type. How intriguing. It doesn't even change the look of it. A lot of black. Notice. Curious indeed. Black walnut. Ebony. Elm fir, hawthorn. Holly, hornbeam, large. Yanny. Let's go with you. Curious indeed. 14 and a half inches for fuck's sake. Like who needs a wand that large? Let's go with, let's go with 12. How intriguing. Brittle, slightly yielding, unyielding, unyielding. You 12 inches, unyielding. Made out of, or uh, ringed. Now what's this last one? Wand core, dragon heart string, unicorn hair, phoenix feather. I'm the bird man. Come on, yo. Ah, phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. You got damn right. All right, what was this first one? Finalize the wand. There you go. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, I could have got 14 inches. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Mine is unyielding. It can't be broken. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. Ooh, I'll let you get to HJ it. with the lore. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. 
Thank you, kind sir. Oh yeah, I knew about the the Wizarding World uh, port. I decided to just do like a real playthrough instead of just like, you know, bringing everything over from there. I did make it into Gryffindor, which is my house on uh, the website. I forget what my wand is. I know my uh, Patronus is a swan. Hold on. We. I need to go get me some club. They uh trying to play me. Oh, they, they're sending me right to it. Looks like. Hold on, Natty. Give me a second, sis. What up, dog? See, I can't talk to him. There's no prompt. Fine. Continue on. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. No, unyielding is, is the amount of give it has. They say it in the films. Aw, shit. A fight. Patronus is a calico. <laughs> Draw it away from the building. Away from the building. This is before Harry's great grandparents were born. The film's live. That's what I always took them the meaning, and it said so when you were like getting the wand, like reason to be pliable. Oh, you gotta dodge that. Okay, you can't do that. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Can I hit him with uh Hey I repaired him? <laughs> Alright. Try to take his uh club doesn't work. Oh, she just got clapped. Belly armors didn't work. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I let him do arms. Bro, she just got laid out. Alright, Levioso's not working. Got a war style fighting. <laughs> she is getting clapped up. I could have blocked that. Look, he's buttering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he's safe that way. Stupefy. Kind of says stupefy like we're having a conversation. Stupefy instead of stupefy. Oh, we just murdered him. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yeah, damn right. So, it's all a bit of a blur to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. What up, Ning? How you doing, man? unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And she's thank a, you. She's again. an aura? Oh, she... she... <laughs> You okay, Nettie? Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. 
I will see what he wants. Will you? Oh, okay. Or actually, we can repair this. There you go. Yeah, do nice things. That's insane. Oh. Oh, I was supposed to repair the damage. I was just doing it. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Sai. Uh, is there, there's one more damage, it said. Rebellion. Woodcraft, the statue of Hufflepuff Hengist of the Woodcraft, the founder of Hogsmeade. It's not Helga. All right, we gotta fast travel. Oh, is that it? Darth Car, thank you so much for the five dollars super chat. <clears throat> My abstract friend is streaming this game now. Gotta help support him. So I'll send this donation as I go. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you, man. How much you want to bet my nigga from bro? Got some butt butt last night. Oh yeah. Listen, man. LeBron has uh the best NBA wife. <laughs> She's the only normal person. Like all the other ones. Ridiculous. We were just talking about you. No. Yeah, I was just talking about him actually hello sir i don't believe we've met allow me to introduce myself uh, augustus hill clothier extraordinaire i should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls and not to mention your help restoring hogsmeade to its rightful state i was happy to help <laughs> frankly you deserve an order of merlin <laughs> but i can offer you something much more useful I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. I'll take it. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. I'm playing on PC, now, Marcus. Let's try this on for size, shall we? He said his haircut is fucking Ready McDonald's arches. Today. Take your time. <laughs> no, he has a mustache on his hairline. <laughs> Supplies. Oh, this is what I have. I can sell. Okay. Preview gear. So it's the same. Whatever. Fine. All right. Now I can buy new stuff. Nothing changed. Just my HP went up. All right, glasses. Oh, all of this is expensive. A mask? Bruh, a cape. Y'all just show me the shit I can afford. <laughs> like, like black out the stuff I can't. Foxstar Killer, thanks so much for the final super chat. I have a question. Have you What's seen any videos by Luke Doherty, Michael J, and or Blagus, fellow YouTubers? I would say that also we, says, no. you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Shit, I'm gonna check your shop for gold. No, you got something, bro. What is this? Rebellion. Oh, so okay. So when you unlock more, um, I understand it. Got it. Give me the loot. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. 
good one to know. That dark wizard? Oh yeah, it definitely is. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. <laughs> Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Uh, Let's go. Leprechaun is not uh, perceptive. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. I mean, duh. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. According to Jeremy, he already knew that. <laughs> It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank well, her you, voice is deep as hell. You be well. <laughs> Sorry, their arms just gets me. <laughs> that boy can walk on his no, feet and hands at the same time. Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. That voice is deep. Thanks for this. My pleasure. Is, is this person trans? Say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, <laughs> Look at this jacket. <laughs> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of They're, they are trans, okay. will greatly improve. I was like, that I voice is mad deep. You, Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Ovenus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. <laughs> I mean, is there another Can't bar in Hogsmeade? forever. That's right. Take your top hat out there and do it, boy. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Uh, the new Guardians of the Galaxy Trolls, movie? Ranrock and Rookwood. Looks interesting. Are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. <laughs> Thanks, Mark Star Killer. Check this with no compass path. Time to head back to the castle. Got a personal waypoint for the map to check your own location. Okay. <laughs> Jack the muffin. So uh, the three broomsticks has upstairs now. See what he didn't know was that was a spittoon. <laughs> Yuck. Don't just pick up anything and just drink it, dude. It's not how this works. Where's Rosmerta? Oh, I just got outside. Okay. He <laughs> apparated a muffin into his hand. <laughs> I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. 
I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Must return to your common room for the night. Ah, uh, it's nighttime. <laughs> We're still kids. Hogwarts map, world map. Fast travel to your common room. Yeah, so Gryffindor's common room is in the tower, right? So they're very um, true to the world. I like it. Who's the headmaster? It's um, Sirius Black's ancestor, Professor Black. He is the headmaster. And the assistant headmistress is the Weasley's ancestor. So pretty slick. Ah, not quite level five. Dang it. <clears throat> now where do we go? I keep opening this instead of a map like this. All right, now we got a new quest. There we go. Oh, in the post. I'll post be sent when characters you've met have requests or updates for you. Okay. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. On the way, Professor. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Oh, he just he just reads it out. Okay. Bruh. We gotta go up, okay. You <laughs> see the goddamn the curfew. Who? Handy resource indeed. She's gonna talk every time we walk past it, isn't she? It seems like it, there's a treasure there. He said, did he sleep in his robes? What the fuck? Can't turn my camera around quick enough. the Slytherins edgelords in this game too I haven't met any Slytherins that are so far one of them did want to break the rules though but I mean one could say that's a quality of Gryffindors too <laughs> I got a question before you guys saw the movies who who read the books and who had a problem with trying to pronounce Hermione's name? <laughs> we definitely did. Our school got the books, <clears throat> at least the first book, um, back in 2000, I think. And none of us knew how to pronounce that fucking word. Oh my God, look at this class. Look, it's the class, you guys. All right, he's probably going to read this, so I'll go off of it. See what it is. He, no, dang it. We didn't get a voiceover for that one. Hermione. <laughs> I think we all said it like that. Hermione or. I shit, man, I don't even know how many different ways we pronounce that Professor. word. I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. 
It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? Katie and to the sun. Did that happen? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Oh, wow. He actually, uh, they're talking about it. Kevin Durant to the Suns. Oh, I'm going to hate the Suns even more now. Fucking hell. Okay. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Especially after he body slammed one of them. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. Was that an I incantation? Of magic there on the map. I solemnly I swear that I'm up to no good. Something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. <clears throat> in my in my class, we got the um, the actual books, and then like almost immediately, I want to say like um, maybe a month or so after that, we got the audio uh, tapes. They were tapes uh, for the Harry Potter books, and that's how we figured out how to I pronounce the word. Do this now. Best to come back. This looks like Gal Gadot. Look at that. Gal Gadot. Come here, you. Doesn't it look like her? Money, money, money. Arr, 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 arr. This class is great. Love the way it looks. I would love to be a student here. Your Patronus is a the fucking dragon? Lucky. Oh, we gotta go down. I'm looking more at the mini map than the actual overworld. We saw that in the tutorial. Might some kind soul help me? What's your house? Are you a Ravenclaw? Okay. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. You're getting bullied. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. 
Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. I'd have done the same. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. <laughs> um, I can't make any promises. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. A fucking fetch quest. Uh, they want me to. Yeah. Mm -mm. We're not doing that quest right now. See what I have in the collections. Still not swaggy. <laughs> My pants got darker, made me stronger. What kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> I walked around school with this shit on. I get roasted into oblivion. Let's continue on with the quest. Can I interest you in some haggis? I believe we I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me. What game would I compare this to mechanically? Probably the Witcher. Indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire making spell, handy for lighting torches burning away spider webs and when necessary defending against those who would wish to do us harm Cindia, I'll take sounds it. versatile quite but before we get started I'd like you to complete a few tasks you may be surprised by some of them astonishing how much students don't think their professors know when you're finished come and see me then we shall begin working on incendio you know where to find me once you've finished. Yeah. So like they send me on little quests. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. <laughs> they send me on uh, these quests and then you get the uh, the magic. So that seems like the gameplay loop so far. Yeah, no, it's, it reminds me a lot of The Witcher. Obviously with the uh, Wizarding World uh, spin on it, but... Uh, Ready for I thought that was closed. I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian, I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. He said he runs That's like good. he's the bell just rang for lunch. Are you dealing <laughs> with a partner? Uh, let's do Onai. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Uh -huh. Got me effed up. Apologies in advance. Oh, it's three on three. Let's oh three on two. Y'all about to get effed up. Violet shards can be broken with Akio. Okay. Akio. 
That boy's getting stupefied. <laughs> Come here, boy. Oh, she hit me with Akia. You son of a glitch. That just seems broken. <laughs> That's great. The combat's pretty cool. Bravo! I gave it my all. And I love the the lore of it. It's like you learn it in school so that you'll use it in the future. After that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're they're trying to hit the me with a spell. All the gobstones, so to speak. They try to hit me with a spell and I block it and then stupefy the guy directly in front of me. <laughs> Let's do that again. I want to fight again. What you got? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. <laughs> I'll be around when you're ready. I thought I could go to the next level, but I couldn't. So. He says my character like six five. I don't know. He he seems fairly tall. A oh, wand handles. Excuse me. Huh? Wait a minute. Is that the quest? Because I got. Complete a round of spell combination practice. Okay, I have to do the practice. Okay, understood. Hello, Lucas. It's just this guy's a first year, so he's he's Back really keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio, four consecutive basic attacks. Tight. That's it. Wrong. Nicely done. Levioso. Oh, this is tight. Hold up. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. We're playing uh, Mortal Kombat now. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. That was tight. It was Accio. One, two, three. Accio again. One, two, three, four. Oh, there was a little loading screen on that door. Did y'all see that? I can talk to these people. I don't want to talk to you. I'm a loner at this school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Levioso first. That's pretty cool. You do combinations like that. I couldn't levitate the damn troll, though. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, there's. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. That's Fluffy. Then you should be. I don't think Fluffy's alive yet. <laughs> should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, I mean, you can just hit me with the Aquamenti. The proper wand movement. I'm not afraid of fire in the Concentrate wizarding world. And keep your wand steady. Incendio! Now I don't have space for it. Equip Incendio. Good work. Now I gotta figure out which one to replace. I don't think Reparo's that. Um, or I'm, I'm pressing it. Oh, I have to hover over this and then press that button. Okay. Understood. Repairo is cool, but like fire is better. <laughs> Destruction versus <laughs> order. Incendio. <laughs> I'm losing points for Gryffindor. Excellent defensive skills. More? Let's try that. That combo that we learned. Hey. Who fixed this? I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> the cat said your magic is weak <laughs> who fixed this takes two seconds to repair by anyone with a with repair ah, there you are i know but hello sir i still want to know to know that i worked on my defensive magic with professor hackett so I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. If I see Mrs. Norris, so, I'm definitely setting her on fire. Proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. I don't trust him off the rip. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor, we have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. <laughs> Said I'm gonna tackle a mid repair. He can be repair. That'll teach him. You gotta it's repair all your legs after that. The restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. The restricted section. 
Hasn't he ever watched Harry Potter before? I mean, how are you going to go to Hogwarts before watching The Prisoner of Azkaban? Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Uh, I'm not entirely certain. That would be a lie. Let's lie to him because he's a Slytherin. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. We don't need Slytherins. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. Take it easy, spot on. He can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. See? Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. So he's basically the Snape of the game? The librarian. Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. We all know what that word means these what days. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. So if we get caught by Peeves, we go to de uh, detention? Or does our house lose points? Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. He's going to set me up and get jumped. <laughs> He's the, uh, the chieftain's son from Avatar 2. What a dick. See there? That's the door we need to reach. I just saw Denny. Annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. Isn't you this the same spell to turn invisible that they put Something on the like invisibility cloaks? It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. This boy is teaching me magic. Avoid being detected in off-limit areas. Okay. Stealth. Uh, my magic. I need to... I forgot how to get there. Oh, there we go. There it is. Um... Ooh, which one do I want it over? I don't like all my spells. Sneak into the library. Silent as a grave. We'll sense and then investigate. In quest failure. How long does the invisibility last? That's a long time. Hey, DM. Thanks for the 14 months. Appreciate you, bro. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. Is it, it's infinite? Usually, 
but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. Btex is a Slytherin? The key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Ow. Good idea. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Oh, she's coming. Oh shit, she saw me. I wasn't invisible, that's why. He's distracting her. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Friggin' stealth. He's coming. Oh, he's already here. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Never judge judge a tone. Basic cast wall undetected to lure authority figures to a desired location. Okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. The ghost can see you if you're invisible? Snitching ass ghosts. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure. Of to help gang, where you at? Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Bellinger to St. Longos. But I can research them. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. <laughs> Darn you, you mimic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Thing was in there. Chat of DOA, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. The Berman is back from his trip. Hope all as well. <laughs> I've been back for a long time, buddy. Uh, this one was Leviosa, right? Leviosa. Who oh, have we here? Of course. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caughty. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Can I trust you? Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Slytherin. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Uh, it's going to be kind of annoying to go back and forth. Now 
I suppose I don't need fire right now. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this one. That's it. Is there fall damage? Where might this lead? Uh, this might be a combat section, so bring back the fire. Um. I think I have what I need. Maybe I might need Lumos. Let's see. Uh, I need to uh, fly. I don't want to just like jump off. I'm supposed to go there, right? Oh, <laughs> oh butthole puckered there. <laughs> What do they want me to do? Rebellion. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. All right. Well, y'all in trouble. Big dead. <laughs> Teleported towards me. Clapped. Ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Yeah. I just like using Accio. An enemy. Oh, he's off the stage. Okay, I think I have an idea how that's going to work. Oh, oh, I made it. Hey, we ninja that. I don't even think the game wanted you to do it that way. This must be the way forward, but to where? Oh, wait, I shouldn't. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Okay, Alloy. You can talk to yourself the whole game. Enemies. Come to me. Incendium. 
Oh, that's like a shotgun. You gotta use it kind of close. Oh, punch me in the mouth. boy with the or lightning the pensive again is there anything about harry potter i didn't like mm, i'd have to think i i really enjoyed the stories i uh, enjoyed the movies as well i wish the movies the the movies after chamber of secrets followed the um the books more but uh I can't complain. It was a great series. I liked it. Wizards use rain dance. Strangely, it was super effective. <laughs> These are muggles. Wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. They were definitely made the right I time, Hunter. Glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hammer. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? 
With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morkanak. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Game's pretty good, Shadow. Sebastian. We're gonna get caught. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. There's another one. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. Eves, that snitch. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. An honorable Slytherin? He should have been in uh, Gryffindor. What will your uncle say? <laughs> the raspberries. Peeves does that a lot in the books. Lumos. No, not Lumos. I need to hide. I mean, I'm in the restricted section still, right? Sometimes you just gotta wait for the uh Oh my god. You gotta wait for the quest to pop up on the, the map. Did he kept it solid, right? He should have been a Hufflepuff or a Gryffindor. Then there's another one over here. Why am I still invisible? I don't think they care. <laughs> A little bit of loading on the doors sometimes. I guess I could be fast traveling to these places, but like, I just kind of like running around. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Orthodox. Agreed, Hanalek. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Thought we were already talking. <laughs> okay. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. What do I think of the game so far? I think it's pretty great. Really good. I like it a lot. Oh, oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. 
Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Um, Hon Alexa, I, I am getting a little tired, so I'll probably stream for like another 30 minutes or so. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the minister. A little bit, right, role, Captain? But to no avail. <laughs> My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I thought that myself. That he sounds a little like Harry. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. True. Uncollected rewards available in the challenges menu. Here. Uh, oh, you choose it? Got some new drip. Gives me more offense. <laughs> Fingerless gloves gives me more offense. That's funny. Okay, we finally got a red one. good meet me in lower hogsfield as soon as possible i would like to talk to you about rookwood and hollow and it might be best to do so outside of the castle Did she sent me a howler Actually, it might be uh, smarter to just fast travel this distance. Yeah, I'm on PC. Professor Fig and Weasley, 
have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I, they're still, like, forcing me to click on certain things. Oh, wow, look how big the map is. Holy shit. Okay. I'll delve into that. <laughs> the fog of war. They have fog of war in this game. Um, I'll, I'll do like a lot of exploring off of uh, stream. We go into herbology class. Herbology. Is she growing pungus onion again? <laughs> the future baby mama. Hey, yo. Oh, she definitely, like, her only career path was plants. How wonderful it is to see you again. Her name is Garlic? Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, I'm asleep. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. She looked like How the student kind of. to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malefic tuba known as the mandrake root a fucking mandrake Accio. make sure you got these Let's on see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable shall we <laughs> first let's protect our ears <laughs> they have the cotton now, balls instead of everyone, muffs their mandrake by they don't their exist yet and give it a firm tug oh i gotta pull it Uh, they didn't prepare for this. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit yeah, mature, I they think. are lethal. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Fortunately, there's no uh, basilisk. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief one. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. Parting with the it. teach? It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. <laughs> Professor Garlic can get Let's it. See how to but she smells like the garlic. Of this little arrangement. The Dissonance restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Withingdale potion, as you all should know from Professor Shaw. Be ready in 10 minutes. Interesting. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. 
I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the <laughs> Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> he said, I see why vampires Hello. are not into I saw Mrs. You and your Garlic. Wife me the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right, follow me then. No, y'all coming nice with me. In defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you, here we are, home of the Chinese. I smoke them. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do I toss it? Hold L1. Oh, wow. We got a weapon wheel. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming. Will they, they attack me? The honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. I've kind of gotten used to it, Hepu. I don't even notice it anymore. I'm not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there, trolls and hogsmead and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them if you're keen. Everybody Other has freckles. Too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. You guys notice that? Time. I'll see you back in class. I'm collecting all this. Yeah. What else you got? This is just free real estate. Rebellion. I love that freaking jingle. Oh, no, wrong way. Off on another adventure, are we? Maybe. Is that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide? Seven more minutes. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry. Mr. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Is that how Brits say it? We say green thumb. They say green fingered. Uh, I don't care much for plants, honestly. I can't tell her that. I can't say that to her. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. <laughs> he's not a troll. He's a, he's a goblin. There's a difference. Trolls are trolls are huge. All right, uh, they're not just gonna give it to me. I have to click on it. A a quick fast travel spot. <laughs> Learn how to grow that zaza. Hey yo. 
I wonder um, what it like what their reaction would be to that in the Harry Potter world. Shouldn't that be all of them? Someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident. Professor Black would never. Revelio. Something behind me. No, it's not there. That's what the room of requirement is for. <laughs> Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Hey. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Yeah, like they're that's what I'm saying. Like they're psychedelics, probably like their version of weed, son. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. <laughs> it's involved. <laughs> he messed around and turned himself into a goat. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. I think we would all like to transform ourselves into LeBron James. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Did Weasley, you have a recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year. After Ashwood the rumors eggs. Of a Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. To steal? You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. It's because I'm a fifth year, I'm working Samuel. I'm something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, because I'm a fifth year and I just transferred to Hogwarts, like it's my first year, but I'm a fifth year. What that means is um, I, I have to get caught up with everybody else and I'm like behind. So that's what they do that. I'll get you the whooper feather as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. <coughs> Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Your potion should not be there. That's the fur. Eggs. Money. Oh, potion. Got your feather. Morgan and Burks. 
increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions for their instructions to follow. A well -prepared I guess I can read those out. A few on hand. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I know, we were just talking about it, Chico. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. All right. Brew this potion. 26 seconds. I like that it takes time in like real time. That's interesting. And now we add the mallow sweet and I just get, guess we got to wait. That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. <laughs> get it. Seamus. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Fuck. Mr. Weasley Losing his points, Weasley. do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh... I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, you already know. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced They're mis nature misspelling of this class words. and the fact you're Skeptical's student, not spelled with a C. I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Okay. He's like, you won't curry favorite with me. And I'm like, bro, you're just the potions master. I don't give a fuck. All right. I was waiting for the um, path to pop open, but uh, we didn't get it. Okay. It's clearly on the map. All right, where's the exit? Oh, my robes are going to be sending out my ink. mother for a raving with her to send my favorite nightshirt. Hey, give me that brick. Oh, no money, but specs. Yeah, there's something on the map. I can't get to it. What game am I playing? It's it's in the title of the video that you're watching, buddy. Hogwarts Legacy. There you go. Rodney Jones, thanks so much for the $5 super chats. Hey, Barry, man, I'd love for you to do a reaction to the Axe Man's video calling Resident Evil 4 a masterpiece. Uh, what, why would you want me to react to it? <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 4 is a great game. Now let's get closest to, oh shit, wrong thing. Closest to where we need to go. Hey, 
Harry Potter for the PS2. <laughs> it wouldn't look this good. Oh man. Hold on. Screen just like flickered there. I need a hippogriff. Wait, wait, wait. That's Hagrid's shack, but Hagrid doesn't exist yet. <laughs> oh, he just fell. That's funny. Did that chicken just break a pumpkin? I should investigate. Man, this game is beautiful. Love it. The PS5 graphics got nothing on the PS2. <laughs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our <laughs> carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Hmm. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. We don't get that the killing, Jerry. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. Or at she least not polite, yet. But perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. <laughs> Be okay. on your guard. Be on your guard. You can't beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? I was about to say, what's going on here? I was just about to say that. They must have come this way. Dark wizards? I have no idea who it is you think I might have seen. She definitely does, Samuel. I agree. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Snake mouth, they're Slytherins. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Fuck these parcel mouths up. Hey, we got a teammate. Push him in the water. Let's let the friggin' uh come here boy. I ain't done with you. Oh I just burned that man. I was gonna say let's let the um mermaids deal with him. New enemy type. 
fire. I'm not going anywhere. Holy shit, I killed that man. Accio is great. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. I'm so close and so obvious. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the huh. one who piqued my interest in oh, her. Oh, Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop Put in North Carolina. Put a body bag. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. So that means but I'm going I, to figure them out. I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Mallow Suite. Just call it marshmallows. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Place the mallow suite on the swell. They're just... My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? I didn't see that because I was looking here. This is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Akio. Maybe fire? Incendio. No. Incendio didn't work. Revelio. Levioso. Akio. Using up all my magic. Incendio. I hit it with fire. fire. Okay. Whatevs. 
pretty sure I hit it with fire already, but. The Revelio first and then do Incendio. it. And then something happens here, maybe. Clearly all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. Oh, there's there's more. Okay. I didn't even see those. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so what the I hell is the hitbox? Out here. Now, I've got what right? I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Y'all saw me hit the motherfucker like five times. I just decided to become a light on its own. What is that? Sir Nicholas, our house ghost is looking for you. You can find him near the great hall. How far away is it? 400 meters. Yeah, how about we fast travel? <laughs> Uh, this fast travel spot has to be in the castle. That's what I'm thinking. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. It was not. Special pull in this. Is it? Because I don't see it. I, I just went on the other side of the dam. Okay. to go to the Hogwarts map. All right, there we go. I don't have fast travel over there just yet. There either. I got this one though. Do I think this game will get sequels? Um, I don't know. I mean, why not though? You know, they're telling an original story. They're set years before the book so they can just, you know, continue telling stories. Um, I'm assuming there will be DLC. Like story based DLC. All right, light this one up. Incendio. It works. Let's 
doing a thing. <laughs> he does run funny. Alright, so nearly headless Nick wants to talk to me. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? I don't. Uh, you there? Uh, so yes, Nick. you. I... You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. At your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and it's missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> I was totally not. So the ghost this is just like, leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to character him, model. If you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Of course. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. We're, like this is a forced walking section, by the way. I can't I beg your pardon. run. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. Well, yeah. If uh, one Nick is my house ghost. Right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. Everything I so far is the magic. I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My favorite is Accio so far. Accio. <laughs> It's like a real Harry Potter experience. You know, you get to choo uh, choose now, your house. If you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain your wand. everything else in due course. And you learn um, magic tricks. <laughs> ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. Right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm. I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> Tickle the pear. Uh, that's what we're calling it now. A student Never will in the kitchen. Students. Hey, look. You can finally see like them. Me. Like they, so they're described in the books. <laughs> Here's a welcome treat. But it's kind of missing in the, the movies. Um, I need roast beef. Rebellio. It smells glorious in here. This is where all the um the food comes from in the uh Is it Hmm. The it's Great Hall. Beef, but it's not rotten. Pardon me, but can you point me to the rubbish? None such was just about to dispose of today's collection. It's towards the back. Help yourself, I suppose. It's the exit. I, I might have a waypoint on accidentally. Dragon eyed spectacles. Oh, there's a disgusting smell. I uh, must be getting close. That's it right there. There was something else Rebellion. over here. Oh, this is where they live. It's their, their houses. These little barrels. And don't feel too bad for them, guys. These, uh, you, we all know that the inside of these things are far larger than what they appear. Oh, 
student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? <laughs> that reminds but me of some Welsh rabbit. Winky. Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Mick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest <laughs> memory of the taste of food. Expecto Patreon. <laughs> Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin They air. make it. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Oh, you guys are all uh, on your, your non-Gryffindor house trials and it's different for you all huh that's super tight are there any restrictions as to what you can make here think he supposes not however think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by helga hufflepuff her quince pie has always been a favorite but the new fangled arbor smokies are becoming popular as well is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. <laughs> we so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. <laughs> The house are so nice. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. No, I agree, Wispy. Like, if we're all getting, like, different quests. I knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet. That's four different quests. Which is very impressive. I didn't realize I can run with the drink or run with the food. So I'm eating the food. I can still move. Please. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. What up, Nick? Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Uh, I got Ten placed in Gryffindor. Of, of course. With the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind Alpha Fiki. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. <laughs> headless activities? Headless activities. Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Uh, oh yeah, that seems like a, a loophole, but I, I assume that if they're duplicating it, they have some material so you can duplicate it as opposed to conjuring it out of thin air, which would mean you don't have a, a basis from which to conjure. So, so it, it does seem like a loophole. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. One right, course, Alex. Also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. 
Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Um, I guess once I'm done with this quest, then uh, that'll be the end of this stream. <laughs> they're tossing they're tossing heads do stay behind me it's a patrick we want oi nesta look who's here what have we told you nearly headless nick hello sir amzad do let us pass we brought a little something for sir patrick probably come to try to beg his way in again <laughs> <laughs> do they always talk to you like that oh, all in good fun once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. But he's nearly oh, headless, so he can't sir. join Rest it. Assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. <laughs> this is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? <laughs> Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> It's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. <laughs> uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. <laughs> now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. <laughs> Nothing like the feeling of a breeze here. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. They just they just float. Like look at it. That's crazy sauce. The headsman could only see me now. Mm. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. What? Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Uh, okay. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. So just blast the pumpkins, huh? Begin! Cast away until you find him. The pumpkins are coming back. What? They've never seen it. But that one's moving. I've 
delightful discovered already. Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Oh, what fun! A student is playing. I guess uh, the ones that move. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful! There it is. Oh, what fun! A student is playing. Why did I come back here? There it is. What? What? I could do that too. Good job, Okay. Must have been a glitch. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Pumpkin was a damn bullet sponge. <laughs> okay. So you found us. This ain't over yet. Young Jackdaw's no match for you. See where he puts it. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Heard it move. Yeah, it is back over here. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Congratulations are in order. <gasps> Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are <laughs> likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? Forbidden Forest? I'll show you where to go. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. What I is the difference between jelly and jam? The library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. Jam is uh, far easier to spread. Like if you were to put it on toast, jelly is like gelatinous. So it's like more of a solid, whereas um, jam is a semi-solid. It's very easy to spread. And jam typically has like fruit bits in it or not always, but so, uh, the, the jams that I get have fruit bits inside them whereas jelly is just like a, a gelatin sort of thing <laughs> did someone in the cave cut off your head i was having a look around when i suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze after which i felt well light-headed <laughs> that's all i remember hence when you visit be prepared i can't tell you what for specifically but you seem a perceptive sort beware a light breeze what will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises? For I like you? the puns that they're hitting us with. <laughs> I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. All right, I have to. I want to clear this um, waypoint. That's been telling me to go 
a long distance for a while. All right. Here we get a new quest. Okay. Is there a way to save? There's no save. Inventory. I guess it's all um, like autosave. Oh, there it is. All right, guys, uh, that's going to do it for today's stream. It is just about midnight here for me. Um, we shall be back with this game. You know, I, I kind of want to stream it tomorrow. Um, if I do stream tomorrow, I will let you guys know on my Twitter. My Twitter is right below at uh, the Birdman 15. I'll probably put up a community post as well. Let you know that I'm live if I do decide to stream tomorrow. Um, if I don't, I'll just be up back on my regular time, which would be Friday at seven. Um, and even that day, like this game is like really big. I might want to stream it earlier. So uh, I'll let you guys know what it is that I want to do. Um, but I'm having a very good time with this game. I think it's great. Uh, <laughs> what can I say, man? I, this this is made by fans, it seems like. And I, I like stuff like this because it's so good for us, people who are fans of this material. So um, yeah, I'll be back and I'll let you guys know when. So uh, take it easy, everybody. Have a good night or good morning, wherever you are. Everybody be safe, be good, be kind. And uh, yeah, your friendly neighborhood Birdman. Signing off. See ya. <laughs>